What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we started the game, restarted the game for like the 7th or 8th time, because you know me, I like to be a perfectionist. I want to make things better, and all that crud. And well, we finally got our first Pokemon, renamed her Aaliyah, because well, my niece Aaliyah threatened to kick me in the shin if I didn't name this Pikachu Aaliyah. And you know how much shins, uh, sh like, kicking in the shins hurt. It really does. I love you, baby. I really do. But, god dang, you got a kick. You definitely have a kick. So, now, in this episode right here, we're gonna be going, we're gonna be walking. We're gonna be capturing some new Pokemon and all that crud. We're gonna be, uh, you know, training and all that crud and beating Gary because, well, guess what? We want all the smoke. We want Jolteon at the very end and all that crud. And, well, here's our second battle against a wild Pokemon, so I might as well battle him right now. Now... I did say that I had a, quite a few stories about these last two months going into, you know, the recording studio and, all, and, and everything else. Um, in the last episode, I did talk about the background, how I wanted it to be very informational, went against it. Uh, what else? What else? I wanted to show my face on camera, kind of like what I did in uh, Crystal Clear and all that crud. And that didn't work because people kept on turning on and off my light. And, uh, let's see, what else, what else? And, 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 and then, you know, using GIF Pokemon for the, the sidebars right here. And how I went against that, yeah. Draven is a perfectionist, guys. Do you blame me? Do you not blame me? Because I want to make these, uh, make this high quality and stuff. And since I've been on YouTube, I've been learning, like, nothing, like, nobody else. And, you know, I like doing this. It's a hobby for me. And I like to, or it's more of like a, it's more of like a, what was it? It's more of an, uh, an out an outlet for me so would you blame me if I actually want to make my outlet a little bit better I do not know so after giving the Pokemon uh, or the, po the the parcel to Professor Oak you're you're able to actually buy some items and well I'm gonna be buying some pokeballs obviously some potions which you can't do in Pokemon um, red and blue because I believe what was it yeah you only get po like you only get well actually wait, which one was it Pokemon no nah, yeah you don't buy potions yet, and I'm actually going to buy quite a few antidotes because you may never know. And, uh, well, let's see. In this episode, we are going to be battling Gary, capturing Pokemon, and going through the Viridian Forest. So what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to be training the crud out of Aaliyah, capturing some Pokemon that I need, and then, uh, well, do everything else in between. So I'll be right back with you guys with the first Pokemon that I'm going to keep, uh, going to be capturing. Okay, guys, so here it is, our first Pokemon that we want to capture, and it is Mankey. Now, going into Pokemon Yellow, you are at a, a, at a huge disadvantage in the very first gym, and that is that, you know, your first Pokemon is a an electric type. So what we're going to do is we're going to be capturing a Mankey since it will learn fighting type moves later on. And, uh, yeah, that will actually get us past Brock first. Mind you, this guy is going to be a temporary Pokemon like in the last version, and wow, we are... Okay, so this is a risky situation. I am going to put a potion on this Pokemon right now because, well, yeah. And here comes a Leer. Okay, so we have a chance, a solid chance to actually capture this Pokemon. Mind you, this is the, la this is the only Pokemon I have right now. So there it is. Throwing a Pokeball to... Three and there. Oh no 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 no! Oh god. Okay, so this is bad. This is very very bad. We gotta throw one more ball right here. Come on, stay the ball. Come on. And there it is, throwing out the peace sign. Yes, sir. We caught him. Anywho, let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Mankey, the Pig Monkey Pokemon, an agile Pokemon that lives in trees. It angers easily and will not hesitate to attack anything. And as always, we will be nicknaming this Pokemon after one of my favorite albums from Wayne Static himself, Project Pig Hammer. Yes, we're going to be naming this guy Pig Hammer because it's appropriate. I mean, it is the Pig Monkey Pokemon, and it does hit like a hammer, albeit that its defenses suck a little, so it's whatever. So there we go, guys. Say hello to Pig Hammer, our temporary Pokemon. I will be right back with you guys after maybe capturing one more Pokemon and training these Pokemon together. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so here is the next Pokemon that I want to capture, and it is a Spearow. Mainly because, 
we're gonna be going through the Viridian Forest, and we kind of need a flying type Pokemon. Now, my biggest deal is this. I do not want to make this Pokemon faint, so if I make it faint with one attack, I'm going to be mad. And there it is. Okay, so prime position to actually capture the Spearow. Holy crud. Oh my god. Let's go. Throw out the Pokeball. Come on. We got two good level Pokemon right here. Holy crud. Oh my god. I am lucky. Very, very lucky. Okay, so here it is, guys. Our next Pokemon, Spiro, the tiny bird Pokemon. Inept at flying high. However, it can fly around very fast so it can protect its territory. Hmm, pretty good Pokemon. And yes, I am going to be nicknaming this temporary Pokemon after a pretty cool phenomenon here in this earth. Yes, let's go ahead and name this guy Tornado. I'm actually a big Tornado nut, guys. I really look, uh, look at those videos online. So there it is, guys. We got Tornado. I will be right back after a good session of training and all that stuff. Okay, guys. So here we are back. And, well, we did a little bit of training for Pikachu, Aaliyah. We trained her up to level 9. We got to learn a little bit. Uh, well, we got to learn a Thunder Wave, which is great. Now, the two other Pokemon that I captured is Project Pighammer himself right here mainly because of its fighting type capabilities now as you can see its attack and its speed are its strong point but its defense is not that great especially with its special attack right now it doesn't learn any or it doesn't have any kind of fighting type moves but just wait until level eight i believe and then here we have tornado the flying type pokemon a very good or a very good level right here uh like it said in its pokedex entry its speed is its strong suit especially with its attack yeah, we are picking a, we're picking a weak de uh, defensive Pokemon right here. But this Pokemon is going to be used for any kind of bug type, grass type kind of Pokemon right there. Eventually, we will be making some switches here and there. So, let's go right ahead and uh, finish off this task right here. Let's go ahead and take on Gary. And as you can see, he's been waiting for us. He's like, "Hey, Draven, you're going to the Pokemon League. Forget it. You probably don't have any badges. The guy won't let you through." By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Why yes, why yes they did. Okay, so here we go guys, the second battle against Gary. And again, I'm going to repeat this. Now, both the first two battles against Gary will dictate the evolution of its Eevee. You beat him twice, both in the lab and right here, you're gonna get yourself a Jolteon at the end. If you guys lose and then beat him right here, or you lose at the lab, beat him right here at Route 22, you're gonna get Flareon. Beat him at the lab, skip this entirely, or lose him right here, you gotta get yourself a Vaporeon, and well, I'm not planning to lose ever. I swear to God, if he beats me again, I'm going to be mad. I really am. Anywho, so here we go, Thundershock for the win. That's right, how about that? How about that, Spiro? Alrighty, and Aaliyah grows to level 10 already. Look at that, okay. And here comes Eevee. I am not going to switch the Pokemon just yet. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Thunder Wave you. Look at that. You're paralyzed. Yes. Yes. Alrighty. Okay, so there's a Tail Whip attack. Do not want to, to mess with that. So let's go with a Thunder Shock, see if we can beat it right here. Eevee is still a pretty good attacker right there. And here comes a Sand attack. So let's see if we can get one more off before we start getting blinder and blinder and well here comes a tackle attack and that hit us pretty hard right there 12 HP but here comes a thundershock yet again and it nearly beats this Eevee and right now I am not risking this how in the heck do you do that I don't know so let's go straight to project pig hammer right here and Maybe that tackle attack will not work against us. It is paralyzed, and well, let's go with a scratch attack. Hopefully for the win. Yes! Project Pig Hammer for the win. And we defeated Gary. That's right. Aw, you just lucked out! No, we didn't. Okay, I heard the Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get them, get past them. You should quit dawdling around and get a move on. Flipping you off, Gary. I'm flipping you off. I really am. Yeah, right, let's see what Pikachu has to say. Aww, okay, you see, Aaliyah's happy now, okay. So, I'm gonna fast forward, guys, I gotta heal my Pokemon, I gotta get some items, but I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so here we are back, and well, we're gonna be making our way to the Viridian Forest, but beforehand, Homeboy here has finally got his coffee. Quote-unquote, his coffee. 
And, well, he feels great. Sure, you can go through. I'm sorry I was so rude to you. I see you're using a Pokedex. I'll show you how to catch a Pokemon as my apology. Well, we're getting an apology. Now, if you guys remember in Pokemon Red and Blue, this is actually the trigger for the Missing No Cheat. Pokemon Yellow, or the Nintendo guys had rectified that by having this, you know, not capturing the Pokemon, and well, unfortunately, because of that, we are not able to do the Missing No Cheat anymore. Do not worry, guys. I got a plan. And well, just like that, we're going to be moving on ahead right here. Um, let's see. We're going to go into the, to the Viridian Forest, and as you, you can see, we are in Route number 2. Nothing nothing too big around this area, but around the other section right here where the dreaded Tree of Doom can't let us in, you're going to be finding yourself some items and quite a few other things, too. Um, we will be getting uh, to that later on. Now, going into the Viridian Forest, I am planning on using Spearow just a little bit more, especially with like some of the uh, newer trainers around here. Now, here we are in the Viridian Forest. In Pokemon Yellow, you're not going to be able to find any Pikachus right here, but they did replace it with a Pidgeotto, a pretty strong one, just as uh, just to replicate the anime version of uh, Pidgeotto. Now, grabbing this one, we get ourselves a Pokeball, which is great. And, well, we're going to be battling some trainers, some new ones too. Let's go right ahead and battle this chick right here. Well, not that chick, but yes, we're going to be finding ourselves some Metapods. Yeah. All right, Leah, let's go. Now, I could, I could speed button this whole thing, but that was another thing that I, I decided to change up. Hi! Do you have a Pikachu? Why, yes, I do. The only one in the world. So, like I said, guys, the speed button is, it was, a, well, it is a luxury for me because it can actually progress through this whole thing quickly. I am using it to actually train up the Pokemon because I have no patience for just training them and all that stuff. It just speeds the whole thing up. Now, something that I've noticed about it is that it actually increases the time that you actually spend right here on the game. You could go for 15 minutes to two, two hours in just one speed button click. So it's like, yeah, you don't necessarily know how many hours you spend right here. For me, I use the speed button to train the Pokemon and all that stuff. Um, again, it's very beneficial. Wish, it, wish they would have had it in the original versions, especially in Game Boy. And, well, look at that. Aaliyah grows to level 11. And it is trying to learn Quick Attack. So let's go right ahead and take a look at what move it can actually take off. And, well, let's go ahead and take off Growl right here. Okay, so there it is. The Quick Attack has been uh, deleted. And we have defeated last. Yes. No, really. Okay. So, anywho, guys. Uh, now that we're in the Viridian Forest, I got another story to tell you. Yes. It's, uh, well, as you guys probably already know, I am in my studio right now, finally recording, doing things and all that stuff. You've probably seen me through, uh, well, through social media and progressing all this stuff. Now, the studio came to be, uh, via my brother. I think I've like, already explained this before, but my brother had suggested maybe you should have your own studio for these types of works because you're going back and forth from work and all. Yeah, it's, it's tough, especially now when... Gas is a little too high. Yes, gas is a little too high. Maybe you should keep your work all in one place. And well, luckily for me, over at my gym, there was, you know, there was one room available, and it's at the most private location ever. So I'm actually happy that I have it right there. That way I can actually be at peace recording stuff. I added some soundproof. I got myself a new computer, a uh, gaming computer, which... I, I'm, I'm gonna say it right now, it's working smooth, and I cannot wait to start up the 3DS games on it because holy crud. And look at that. Level 7 tornado right there. Yes, Caterpie can't go at it right there. So, yeah, guys, my brother suggested it, so shout out to him. And, uh, well, I guess you could say hey, this is a whole brand new experience. I know I've been doing YouTube for about 11 years already. I should probably be you know focusing on other things but like I said this is a bit of an outlet for me when I'm not doing anything football related or gym related um, I love entertaining people here online and all that crud and you know going on like YouTube is a place for entertaining but it's also a place to learn some new things and that's exactly what I did got to learn a, quite a few new things uh, in regards to editing and all that stuff for the longest time I yeah, for the longest time, I did not like using, uh, what was it, 
did not like using uh, Adobe, Pre uh, Adobe Premiere Pro because all the nooks and crannies, I had no patience for it. But because, you know, I got to learn all this stuff on online and all that crud, it, it made it very simple. And, you know, after working on quite a few videos, including the restart, the restart of the yellow version and all that crud, it everything has become clear and it actually... It's become clear and easier for me. That's why you're getting the kind of quality videos right here And I cannot wait to do it for the other content that I have now. I Get it uh, I'm abruptly stopping a lot of my walkthroughs that I was doing uh, At the beginning of the year But for me, it's like you know what it's a risk. It's whatever guys at least it gives me time to actually learn some new games and all that stuff uh, Later on this week you guys will be seeing a new walkthrough too and look at that, we get ourselves another potion, which is great. And well, either way, you're gonna go. Either way, you go right here, you're gonna get something. Now, we're gonna get some bug type Pokemon right here. Now, when I was younger and I started to play Pokemon Yellow, and I realized that, well, battling with a Pikachu is a little harder than expected, my strategy to beat Brock was this. Well, I had three strategies. And there we go. Let's go right ahead and switch out the Pokemon. Actually, no. Screw it, let's go like this. Uh, I had three strategies, and before we say anything, if you guys notice this guy right here, apparently he's an important part to a glitch in Pokemon Yellow. I believe it's the Nido King or Gengar uh, Gengar Cheat, where if well, a certain a certain events happen, and then you battle this guy, you'll be able to find yourself a level 100 uh, level 100 Gengar or Nido King. So comment down below. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not going to do the glitch right here because, well, you know, it's, uh, it's to me it's not that important, and I'm not going to use a level 100 Pokemon right here. So here we go, battling them again. Now, let's see, what else do I have to say about what story I have? I don't know. Let's see, tornado going in, and let's go with the peg attack now. I think I could save the. I think I, I think I could save what happened to my original computer for later on, guys, because I, <laughs> that's a funny story itself too. Now I'm gonna go with Pig Hammer. We need to train this Pokemon up to level eight so it can actually, well, it can actually beat Brock and all that crap. Now what I was saying, the three strategies that I had for for Brock. One was grow my level po my Pikachu to level twenty so I can learn Slam. By doing that, it can actually beat these Pokemon. Uh, a little bit easier on top of that. It's a little bit over leveled and whatnot That didn't work out so well. I didn't really like I didn't really have the patience for that, too The second one was get a Mankey or get a Nido a Nido Reno or Nido King or no not a Nido Nido ran male, okay, and this guy knows tackle what the heck Yeah, and uh, teach it will have it learn any kind of fighting type moves and then beat Brock and the third one was capture a Caterpie, evolve it all the way to a Butterfree, and bam, use Confusion. I think it worked out well, and uh, you know, that was me not knowing type advantages and whatnot. Now that, you know, we kind of know, we kind of know everything, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going with the Mankey right here because it's a, it's a safe choice, and well, as you can see, bam, level six, and uh, well, we're two levels away from all that crud, okay. Now, I think I said it earlier today in this episode, maybe in the last episode, no, this episode, yes. See, easy, easy uh, memory loss right there. Uh, yes, I will be capturing some new Pokemon, incorporating some of the old ones and all that crud. Um, the Pokemon that I have had before, like Thrasher and Smasher, I did capture them. They will have a place in another team later on in other walkthroughs. Trust me, guys, I am thinking of everything, especially now that, well, editing has become a little bit easier. And, uh, well, let's see. Like I said, I can't wait. They're all going to have a place, and yes, they will all be appearing in later episodes, later uh, walkthroughs and whatnot. Now, we got ourselves a potion right there. Now, there is one more potion that people don't necessarily know of, and, well, we're just going to have to move on right here. Here we have a Pidgey, and, uh, well, Tornado, Pidgey, who do you want? I don't know. Now, every Pokemon I capture will have a place somewhere. Now, let's see. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go with uh, or Spearow right here. Now, before you battle this guy, go ahead and press the A button, and you'll find yourself another potion right in front of him. And then, bam, go ahead and battle him. Hey, wait up! What's the hurry? 
I need to get to the gym, homie. I need to get to the gym. So, here we go, taking on Bug Catcher. Bug Catcher's looking a little mean. Bug Catcher comes out with a level 10 Caterpie, which I don't, I don't necessarily know why. And well, look at this. Peg Attack does its thing, okay. And here comes a string shot. Oh my god, and here we go. Lowering our speed. That is not cool, homeboy. That is not cool. So here we go. Peg attack. And that peg attack does it for the win. Look at that. Level 9. Yes, sir. Okay, and Tornado has learned Leer, which is great. And we defeated another bug catcher along the way. He's like, I, I give. You're good at this. Yes, I am. All right, let's move on before we get battled by another Pokemon right here. And here we have a Caterpie, which I'm not going to capture. Now, they're, like like I said, guys, Pokemon that have appeared in older walkthroughs, like my original Yellow, yes, I am thinking of them, and I am going to be using them later on, somewhere down the path uh, in other walkthroughs. I've, I've, I've got this all, you know, I got this all planned out. Trust me, guys, when I have a plan, whew! I go at it, and uh, yes, we're finally out of here. Yes, we are out here. Okay, all right, all right, okay. So, look at that. We're breathing easy. We're going to be going here later on just to train up our Pokemon a little bit. And, well, here we are, guys, Pewter City. And, yes, we are not going to be taking a tour of this whole place like in the la like la last, you know, the other uh, walkthroughs and all that stuff. So, anywho, guys, we're going to take a pause right here. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to be battling Brock and then maybe, maybe going into the Space Museum and whatnot. And, uh, well, we'll see what happens after that, okay? So, uh, let's see. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, now I can do so. The link is down in the description. Make sure to click that subscribe button and uh, hit those notification buttons because, well, we're going to be coming out with walkthroughs and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode when we take on Brock, the first gym leader of the Kanto region. See you guys.